everyone, my name is Melissa and I've decided to start a blog on cloth diapers. I'd like to consider myself an advocate for the environment. I do small initiatives uh, such as recycling, composting, using reusable materials and my most recent project has been pretty much the largest initiative that I've made so far which is deciding to use cloth diapers for my daughter. She's three months old and we've been using them since the beginning and it's been an incredible process so far. I really enjoy using these diapers and I've decided to start a blog to inform other parents and to encourage them to make the switch to cloth diapers. There's a lot of advantages. The major one is the subsidy that the government grants you. Also, the initial investment is really minimal. And lastly, the amount of money that you're gonna be saving in the long run is immense. So um, I will go more into detail about all this. But also before I start uh, in this video, I will be giving you a little bit of an introduction on cloth diapers and how they look and how they're used and a few brands. And um, also my goal for everyone is to encourage you guys once again to make the switch and maybe eventually also do a few more videos on just how we could all work as a team uh, to preserve our habitat for our children in the future. I'll be making a series of videos on basically how to use cloth diapers, how I use my cloth diapers when I go out, how to change my baby with cloth diapers and to make sure that there's no leaks, also how to wash the diapers and also a few more detailed things if you wanna go the extra step in um, omitting using uh, wipes, disposable wipes. Uh, that's another thing that I don't use. I use reusable wipes and I make my own bum solution. And so I'm just gonna be giving you just the tips on how I've been using them and to encourage everybody and just to prove to everybody that it's actually a very simple process and it really doesn't have to be as complicated as everybody thinks it is. So to go into detail on the benefits of using cloth diapers, um, the Montreal government and the Laval government offer a subsidy I'm not sure how much it is in Montreal, but in Laval, I was granted $200. And my initial investment was about 300, including pretty much everything. And so, I mean, in the end, it just costed me $100. So it really wasn't a huge investment and it really didn't break the bank. Also, um, I'm not even sure, but all I know is that very often, diapers have to be bought and looks like to me the boxes of diapers are close to forty dollars each or more and so this is something that i never have to worry about i never have to worry about running out of diapers and having to run to the grocery store because i have no more diapers it's a very simple process i just have to wash my diapers when i'm starting to run low and reuse them I think the most discouraging part for people, they think it's like gross and messy, um, but it really isn't. Uh, I think people have a misconception on this. Um, so I'm gonna be showing you exactly how it's done. And if anything, I think everyone is eventually gonna prefer using cloth diapers over the reusable ones. I never have to go running around looking for a garbage or also her room or the house never smells of dirty diapers. Uh, I have many tricks to show you guys uh, that it's actually quite worth it using these cloth diapers. It's also 
quite fun. There's so many different prints and uh, designs to choose from. It makes uh, the whole diaper changing process actually more fun and exciting. Um, you guys are really going to enjoy it. I want to go over some brands with you guys. Um, obviously, there's some brands that are made in China, some made in Canada. There's a million to choose from. Uh, I don't obviously don't know them all, but um, I did decide to go with um, a Canadian brand for a few of my diapers. They're a little bit more on the high-end scale. They're called Little Helpers. The reason why I chose this brand is because they were extremely, extremely informative when I had absolutely no idea how to use them or what they were. And so they taught me a lot before I started using them. So I decided to go with them. Their quality is very good. But also I wanted to have a huge uh, inventory of them. Um, I think about 35 of them is, is a good number. And so I didn't think that I... It was, I, I thought it was a little expensive to spend over $15 on a diaper. So another alternative was to look on Amazon and uh, I found a Chinese brand uh, called Baby Goal. And I literally got a pack of 20 diapers for maybe $170, which is definitely more affordable. You can tell that the quality is not the same like the Little Helpers brand. But I mean, they still work wonders and I will be showing you the differences in this video today. So this is a cloth diaper. Um, there's many different ones. I decided to go with the snaps. This is what I like. And so the cloth diaper comes with a shell and comes with liners. So this is the Little Helpers brand. Littlehelpers.ca and so it comes with the shell, the liners, and what I like about the little helpers is that the liners are actually like curved, so it fits um, around the legs better. Um, the material inside is like soft, and this is an absorbable outer layer, so the water and leaks don't come out. And then this is another brand, this is the Chinese brand. Um, cute prints as you can see again the snaps the liners are more rectangular but I mean this doesn't make a difference at all it really isn't a big deal so also you can tell that the inside layer is a different material this is what I'm talking about when it comes to the quality but again it really doesn't make a difference whatsoever to me so um, the types of liners that I was a little bit confused at the beginning is how there's the charcoal liners and then there's the bamboo liners. These are bamboo liners from Little Helpers. So the bamboo liners, I would say, are a little bit more absorbent, but um, the to the touch, you feel it a little bit more wet. So I don't really prefer the bamboo liners because she feels more wet and she'll start like being cranky um, as soon as they get wet. The charcoal liners are actually dry to the touch when they're wet. They're not as absorbent, I find, but she tends to stay in them a little longer without being fussy. Um, what I like about Little Helpers brand is that there's the double double layer um, and that makes it quite interesting. I choose to put these diapers on her at night because of the double layer and so it'll absorb more in the nighttime. Another important detail about cloth diapers is that you buy the cloth diaper and you can use it from newborn until they're done with their diapers. And that means that you can change the size of the diapers. What I mean by that is you see these buttons right here. You could adjust the size of the diaper by clicking the buttons close. It's a little hard to do it with one hand, but this one is already closed for you as you can see. So right now my daughter's three months old so she's still uh, the tiniest size of the diaper but then as she grows you can just unsnap them and 
they'll fit them up until about two and a half years old. So again, this is my little introduction video on cloth diapers. Uh, I will be making more videos on how to wash them, how I use them when I go out, etc., etc., like I've mentioned before. Also, if you guys have any questions regarding them, uh, I could make specific videos on your questions. Um, so, this is a little project um, that I'd like to do because the environment is really important to me and I stress it a lot to my friends and I want to start stressing it to a wider group of people because I think that as millennials it's very important that we start making changes in our life and we start being a little bit more conscious of what's going on in the world and we have to all work together to make initiatives to preserve our habitat because if we want to keep bringing children to this planet they're the ones that are going to suffer and I really breaks my heart to have to think that my daughter and her siblings and everybody's children have to suffer because of how we chose not to preserve where we live so if we all work together and just make these little efforts it goes a really long way um, so eventually I would like to make other videos on how I compost and how I recycle and some products that I use that are reusable and non-disposable. Um, I think we have to really start trying to use reusable items and if we just make a little bit more of an effort, it's going to go a long way. So um, look out for some new videos that I'm going to be posting. Have a good day.